What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Cosmat Wrestling Smackdown edition. The last Smackdown before Elimination Chamber. Let's get right into this thing. Smackdown kicks off with Edge discussing his major opportunity at WrestleMania, discussing his most important match of his career, saying that he's got a big decision to make. Without a doubt, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, then makes his way down to assert kind of his dominance where he stands in the company. Things do get heated as Sami Zayn then interrupts, claiming how he is always disrespected and then just gets super kicked by Jay Uso, just leaving a stare down with Edge and Roman as they then head to the back and because a quick commercial break. What a way to open up SmackDown. What do you think about these two in a match at WrestleMania? I don't know if I would want to see Edge versus Roman because they both have two different styles. Imagine like an Edge versus Shinsuke Nakamura. That would be cool. That would be entertaining for sure. We then see KO and Edge meet up backstage, Edge telling KO to keep fighting like he always does. As then, the King, Baron, Corbin appears telling Edge to watch where he stands because the King indeed is here tonight. Edge then faces off with Cesaro next, not only beating him, but then interrupted by Dan O'Brien after trying to push his way to face Edge at Mania. Dan O'Brien really wants this match. I'd rather see that than Roman versus Edge, to be oh, honest. Oh, what a match that would be. We then have Big E join commentary for the match between Apollo Crews and Shinsuke Nakamura. What a match. Shinsuke indeed beats down on Crews. He actually beats him clean, and then Crews, he just does not take it lightly tonight, attacking Shinsuke after the match as Big E then gets into the fray. But Apollo just absolutely drops Big E, drops steel steps onto the IC champion, just forcing Big E to leave the arena with like, like on a stretcher. What a way for Apollo to make a statement tonight. Will Biggie be ready for the Elimination Chamber after that hellacious beating? I, I don't think, know. I, I think they're going to have to replace him, Kyle. The Monday Night Messiah, well, no longer Monday Night, but Seth Rollins indeed just makes a statement returning after Big E's injury. He mainly takes like a shot at Cesaro for ruining his return at the Royal Rumble, just trying to start something with the Swiss Cyber, just kind of hoping to scare him a little bit, but I don't think this is going to make Cesaro budge. What a rivalry this is going to turn out to be. I mean, you got two in-ring competitors that definitely know their technique and could put on a good show. We then have the Riot Squad set to face Tamina and Natalia. Oh boy, well the duo, they do take out Natalia, leaving themselves only with Tamina, which was a smart move by the Riot Squad. Just taking the win here, happy to see them, of course, get a win. But Billy Kay appears kind of helping Tamina hit a spin-out slam. Just, just for that huge win, just, ah, oh, Billy Kay. Poor oh, Billy Kay, man. She's just looking for someone to team up with. Nobody wants to team up with her. I'll team up with her if she Ooh, needs a team. Want it? I guess. Ding dong. Hello. Oh, yeah, that is up next with Bailey introducing Naya and Shayna to the ring. The tag team champions do trash talk like they always do with Sasha and Bian about Sasha and Bianca, which actually then sends Reginald out of all people, Reginald to the ring making a statement that the boss and the EST are actually better than Nia and Shayna. Hey, I think Reginald's got a thing for Sasha, for sure. This mess creates a six woman plus one man tag team match. Reginald actually gets the win after Bianca and Sasha actually super kick him onto the top of the mountain, Nia Jax, allowing him to pin her for the three sub. He got the win in this match. Yeah, it looked like Nia Jax was going to win the match with a leg drop, but she missed. It looked like she definitely injured her hole again. Oh my, what's up with you and her hole? I mean, I just find it hilarious. Oh my gosh. The fabulous Carmella then heads out to the ring, yelling at Reginald, claiming he must do his job better because a glass of wine he gave to her was just horrendous. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next, with Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode in commentary, with Otis facing off against Rey Mysterio with Dominic in Rey's corner, and then Chad Gable in Otis's corner. What is it, the Alpha Duo, something like that? Yeah, oh, sure. Boy. Not going to be the next American Alpha. But, of course, Otis did take this match to heart, which I kind of did like to see, as he just decimated Rey kind of like earlier with Apollo Crews. The ref had to actually stop this match in a DQ after uh, Otis not listening to his count, sending Dominic's son, helping his father to the back, just wheezing in pain. Yeah, Ray certainly looked injured here. Oh, boy. We then have Edge join commentary for the main event. And I gotta say, having Edge on commentary was actually very nice to see. And it was kind of surprising, you know? Then we see KO, Dana Bryan, and Cesaro take on Sami Zayn, King Corbin, and Jay Uso. Throughout this match, Paul Heyman then joins us on commentary. Oh, my God. Oh Those boy, two on commentary, insane. they were going back and forth for sure. Uh, Sami Zayn goes for a dive off the top rope, but Daniel catches him, tapping him out with that yes lock. That was awkward. Oh, boy. We then have utter chaos erupt in the ring as Jey Uso hits a super kick, 
KO hits a pop of power bomb. Sami Zayn hits a blue thunder bomb. It's rapid fire. And uh, we had two spears to end the night. Of course, Roman Reigns looking strong to end the night. Oh yeah, with a spear right into Edge, kind of telling him, you're going to face me at WrestleMania. Roman wants this match bad. I think he wants it more than uh, Edge does. Yeah, but. for sure. Well, what a way to end up Monday Night Raw. Let us know what you liked most about the show. And always like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the studio on Tuesday for a Monday Night Raw recap. Peace, Peace out. out. I'm here to run.